Here is a custom quiet book. I had ordered and made a little pocket to hold all of the pieces. Next page is a lacing or a weaving page, which we made a pie. Keeps your little hands busy and works on dexterity. That one. And then a set of shoes. These are three dimensional, so it's more realistic, more like trying to, to tie their own shoes. Practice that skill. And then we've got a braiding page with uh, each of these, both the braiding and the shoe tying. I like to have them in pairs, why we have two pigtails and two shoes. So it kind of repeats and reinforces those skills. A little more activity to the page. Put our hair clip on. This one, we've just got a clothesline with some felt clothes. We included a doll with that so we can dress up our doll. And she's dressed to go out. Or she can totally go Wilma Flintstone here in her little fur skin. Got a tangram on this side, red roof on it. All of our little house pieces. So we just felt on felt. Did a castle over here. It's a pretty good sized puzzle. And it's done out of a, uh, a glitter felt. So it's got a little more personality there. It's a good stiff fabric. Easier to work with for little hands. That one also, not only is it a puzzle, so it's problem solving, but we're going to do shape recognition and, and matching to match it to the background. So it has a few more skills. And then we've got a color matching on this side. I did a paint palette. A few basic colors that kids start out with in preschool and in early elementary. Each one of the uh, paint pieces has got a matching coordinating piece underneath with, that's stitched in the same color thread. Like that. And then, other than all of our threads here, we've got a shape matching on the back, which is done in a dark brown, so all of the shape colors will stand out because they're nice and vibrant. And stimulates the mind a little bit more that way. <laughs> my fingers are dry. And there you go.